And let's begin with the latest updates you need to know on the investigation into the Delhi riots and the question about whether this was a pre-planned conspiracy. That's what the Delhi police is currently focusing on and trying to get answers on. Uh, at this point, shooter Sonu Sheikh was nabbed by the cops after an extensive hunt. The video of him firing a gun had surfaced after the Saturday violence and since then he'd gone absconding. Sonu's now been taken into custody, which means the total number of arrests stands at 25 now. Another arrested accused has reportedly confessed to supplying glass bottles to rioters to throw at the procession. Security, meanwhile, has been stepped up across Jangir Puri. The Home Ministry has deployed three additional companies of CRPF. A total of 15 CAPF companies have also been deployed. On Monday, the Delhi police registered a case against the organizers for carrying out a procession without permission on Saturday, the 16th of April. One of the leaders of the VHP, Prem Sharma, has reportedly been arrested. Look, if you talk about the total of the arrest of today, there are 24 in which there are 22 apprehensions, which are two juveniles, and the rest of the 22 in which there are arrests of the arrest, इसमें जो भी आप फोटोग्राफ में देख रहे हैं यानी कुल मिलाकर जितने लोग रिवॉल्वर या कुछ उस तरह की चीजें लेकर सामने दिखे हैं उन सब की गिरफ्तारियां हो गई हैं दो तीन और बचे हुए जिस पर हम काम कर रहे हैं The Delhi police are investigating a larger conspiracy angle in the Saturday Jahangirpuri riot case Two prime suspects Ansar and Aslam were produced in court and were sent to police custody the Delhi police, meanwhile, has been accused of being partial in their investigation by a petition made by a lawyer in court. The letter petition moved before the Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, to take up Suomoto cognizance of the riots and alleged that the Delhi police investigation so far had been partial, communal and directly shielding perpetrators of the riots. This <laughs> उसमें दोनों पक्ष के लोग हैं जिन लोगों ने वहाँ पे उर्दन किया या कायदा अपने हाथ में लिया वो किसी भी पक्ष के क्यों नहीं हो हम तो उनको जो आरोपी के तौर पे ट्रीट करते हैं और उसी तरह की कानूनी कार्रवाई आगे करते हैं। Delhi police went to Jahangirpuri on Monday for further investigation. One of the prime suspects, as per the crime branch investigation, Sonu, who shot from a pistol, has since been arrested. Sonu was caught on camera firing from a pistol at a crowd. The Delhi police apprehended his wife on Monday. I was in the hospital, so it was the time of the day. He was a child, he was a child, he was a child, he was a child. So he didn't have to leave him, he didn't have to leave him. He didn't have to leave him, he didn't have to leave him. So our girl, he didn't have to give him a dog, he didn't have to leave him. Riots broke out on the eve of Ram Navami and Hanuman Jayanti on the 16th of April. The Delhi Police Crime Branch took over the investigation. More than 20 people have been arrested, including two juveniles. Ten teams of sleuths are scanning through more than 200 videos of the clashes and all evidence collected so far. The northeastern part of Delhi had last witnessed a major riot in March 2020. Bureau Report, India Today. And let's get you now an update from the ground. Shreya Chatterjee is joining us live from Jahangir Puri, where yesterday again there was a fresh bout of pelting that was reported. Shreya, good morning. Take us through the situation currently on the ground. We understand that there is, uh, in fact, additional deployment currently, seeing what played out yesterday. If you could also get us the latest on the investigation front, because the Delhi police now is trying to identify whether this entire riot, this violence, was pre planned. Well, yes, uh, Akshita. First, I'll give you an update on the ground. Sure. If you can see that uh, these areas in Jahangir Puri has now been divided into sectors. There's sector 04D1 in front of you and there's a sector 04D2. The reason it's been divided in sectors is because additional DCPs have been given uh, their separate uh, places, their separate jurisdiction to ensure that the scenario is completely fine. Investigation has to further continue as has 
uh, been very significantly put forward by the Delhi police because there are likely more arrests that could be made in the case. Yesterday, what turned out was a very sorry picture because when the Delhi police went to the house of uh, Sonu uh, Elias Yunus, uh, there was stone pelting that was carried out by their family members who refused to be detained. But obviously later Sonu was arrested by the Delhi police. And right now, because there will be more uh, investigation, Delhi police will require to go inside those areas. They have ensured that additional security is deployed in this very place. And I'll ask my camera person to pan around to show you the paramilitary forces that are also on standby with riot control gears. So definitely additional security has now been brought in, followed by what transpired yesterday. Delhi police now do not want to take any chance at all as they will continue investigating the matter. Okay, uh, Shreya, we're going to keep coming across to you for all the updates of what's happening right now in Jahangirpuri for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us. The big update that came in yesterday with regards to the investigation by the police and the crackdown is that the man who was seen opening fire during this riot has been taken into custody. He's been identified as Sona and was on the run, was absconding since the riot broke out. And the video of him in a blue kurta walking forward as everyone around him was pelting stones, opening fire is what led to the police nabbing him, as well as several of his family members who are also believed to be a part of the violence. <laughs> This is the moment when a man boldly walks forward, pulls out a pistol, fires around and then flees. A glimpse of the horror that unfolded on Hanuman Jayanti in Delhi's Jahangir Puri. This man on your screens is Sonu. He's been absconding since the riots broke out over the weekend and the police have launched a massive manhunt. And it wasn't just Sonu. His family members are also under the scanner for their role in the violence on Saturday. Sonu's brother has been held and when the police reached his house to take the shooter's wife into custody, this is what happened. <laughs> जब यहां पर पुलिस उन्हें समझा रही थी कि जांच के लिए हम पूछताछ के लिए ले गए हैं तभी ये पत्थरबाजी यहां पर शुरू हो गई और इस तरह के ईट ईट ऊपर से फेंके जा रहे थे Women refusing to allow the police to enter the locality resorted to pelting stones at the policeman but soon enough Sonu's wife was detained for questioning आरएएफ की एक पूरी ह्यूमन चेन बना दी गई है ये महिलाएं निकल गई हैं और ये आरएएफ की एक पूरी टीम है जिसने यहां पर ह्यूमन चेन बना लिया है ये ह्यूमन चेन है Just moments before this fresh bout of stone pelting broke out India today spoke to the shooter Sonu's family The Hindu Muslim men ladai ho raha to wo roza khunne ka time wo gaya koi bachcha se wo ye chhin ke wo गुस्सा में वो चलाने लग गया तो किसी को चोट नहीं लगा डर देने के लिए ऐसा ही बंदूक चलाया तो वो उसमें नहीं था कल के ऐसा ही वीडियो बना के कोई दुश्मनी करके बुढ़िया बना के छोड़ दिया The Delhi police have also made it clear that no accused will be spared and every person involved in the violence in Jahangirpuri will be nabbed इन्होंने परमिशन नहीं ली थी तो इनके खिलाफ अकॉर्डिंगली लीगल कार्रवाई की गई है और परमिशन नहीं लेने के बावजूद प्रशासन चूंकि निकल गया था तो पुलिस की ये ड्यूटी थी कि उसको शांति से निकालें और चूंकि इंसिडेंट हुआ है तो उसको अकॉर्डिंगली पुलिस ने उस वक्त हैंडल भी किया द वीडियोस इमर्ज ऑफ द रॉयल्स शो हाउ क्विकली इट वाज एस्केलेटेड एंड सोनू हुज फैमिली मेंबर इज नाउ अंडर स्कैनर फॉर शूटिंग एट द क्राउड्स अमिद द रॉयल्स इन जहांगीरपुरी विथ अंजना ओमकाश शॉप नरविंदोशा आई एम आशुतोष मिश्रा फॉर इंडिया टुडे